Hello YouTube and welcome to another Lentendo video. In this video I'm going to show you how to change your startup video for Regalbox on the Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned to find out how. Before we get started I just want to point out that I have two other videos on Regalbox so you can check those out. I'll pop links in the video description as well as on screen now in the top right hand corner. You can do this with RetroPie, however I'm going to focus more on Regalbox as it's very user friendly. In my previous videos I didn't have a startup video in Regalbox. Uh, I was using an older version uh, and they just had a simple loading screen. What you're going to want to do first is make sure your Raspberry Pi is plugged in and connected to your network. Then head over to Google and download a program called Putty. We will be using this to connect into the Raspberry Pi. Putty is a free program and you don't have to pay to download it. You can get it from the Putty website which is just www.putty.org. Uh, however, I'm going to download the portable version because I don't want to install the program on my computer. So this really doesn't matter. Uh, you can use either version, portable or installer on your computer. Uh, they both do the exact same thing. Once Putty is finished downloading, install the program and then hit run. Once the program opens up, you'll see this Putty configuration window. Um, basically all you need to do here is put in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi uh, and then hit open. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you how to get to that now. What you want to do is hit the start button to bring up the main menu and scroll down to network settings. In here you'll see an IP address. Now the IP address you will need to put into the host name and IP address field inside PuTTY. Once you put in the IP address into PuTTY, hit open. Hit yes on the security alert dialog box. And then you'll be greeted with the command window. It'll ask you for a login. The login username for the Raspberry Pi is root. And the password is recallbox root. Now you won't see it as you're typing, so make sure you type it in correctly. Then hit enter after you've input the password. You'll see a hash character. This means we can now start typing commands. Now the first command we need to type in is cd space forward slash recallbox forward slash system forward slash resources forward slash splash and this will take us to the directory where the splash screen is. To confirm that you're in this directory if you type in ls and then hit enter it will give you a list of items that are in that directory. Now you can see here you have recallbox intro.mp4 that is the file that we need to change to get our own custom boot up screen. The next command we need to type in is mount space dash o space remount comma rw space forward slash. This will give us read write permissions to the directory. The next command you want to type in is rm space recallbox intro dot mp4 and this will remove the existing video. After you hit enter, you can then type in ls and enter again to recheck that directory and make sure the video that you just removed is actually removed. Now what you want to do is just move this putty window aside. Uh, you can see here on the desktop I have uh, Regalbox intro.mp4 that I want to upload. And to do that, what I'm going to do is copy it to the Raspberry Pi. So what you want to do is go into File Explorer. And at the very top, type in backslash backslash and then the IP address which in this case was 192.168.1.113 and that will take you to the shared drive on the Raspberry Pi. What you need to do is go into the shared folder and anywhere in here if you right click create new folder and we'll call it intro now what you want to do is copy the video into the intro folder, 
this one here that I've got on my desktop. Now we can close out of this and go back to the putty window. Now the next command that we need to type in is a little bit long, so I won't read it out. I'll just type it out and I'll pop all of these commands in the video description. Once you've input the command, uh, then hit enter. Um, now just to explain a little bit what this command does is it copies the Regalbox intro video that we pasted into the intro folder and it copies that into the splash screen directory where the original file was. Now to confirm that that has copied across fine, if you type in ls, it'll give you a list of everything that's in that directory and there you can see Recalbox intro.mp4. From here, you can go back to your Raspberry Pi and reboot. And when it starts up, it should play your startup video. And there you have it, your custom startup video. Now I'll put this one together real quick just for the purpose of this video. I'll most likely change this to something else after I'm done. Uh, you can find some awesome videos on YouTube. Uh, if you just head over to YouTube and type in Recallbox intro or Recallbox splash screen, there are some pretty awesome videos on there uh, if you want to use some existing ones. Otherwise, feel free to make your own. If you know how to use a lot of effects and do some cool shit, then making your own is probably going to be better because no one else is going to have it. Well, that's all for this video guys i hope it was uh helpful to you uh please leave a like and a comment below if it was uh, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content